Um, I wanted to talk about you. I get the vibe. I don't know you that well, but I get the vibe that you're a nice guy and you seem to be similar to me in that, like, you know, you want, and maybe everybody feels this way. I don't know, but you want everybody to like you. Not, not that you're like trying for right. everybody to like you, but it's like you, it's like, why have beef with anybody? Like it's good. Every energy is good with everyone. Is that accurate? Yeah. I'm a person that. I would say I'm I'm an empathic person, so you know I'm very empathetic. So for me, I I, I don't. It's not even about like I want people to like me. It's more so like I don't have the time or energy to really create beats. If you don't like me? Come up to me and say how you feel, and maybe we'll find something. But I don't I don't take the time to. I try to make sure everybody has at least a good understanding of me, but not to that level where I feel like I need to valid be that validated. It's more like okay. I love people, everyone, you know, just vibe out, like, you know, no negative energy person. Like, I have my moments, we all do, but, like, for me, I don't try to go out my way for that. It's just kind of like, hey, it's cool here. Like, I'm not, you know, I'm not a threat to you. I, I have my own thing, and whatever I do should not affect you. And I tell people, like, whatever someone else does to you has nothing to do with me. So if you have an issue with me, you don't like me because of that. I'm doing something you want, I can't, I can have nothing to do with that. And I've, I've learned that recently, that nothing, it's all projections. And I realize, like, as long as I don't react to these projections and I, I bring out positive energy and at least understand vibes and try to get to know people on a base level that they pr bring out themselves, then it's all good. So, like, for me, I just I just like people. Be, I just like making people happy, to be honest. Like, right. I, I would say sometimes it gets me in a lot of trouble, but I would say, like, I enjoy seeing people happy, and that's always been my thing growing up. The reason me. why I brought that up is because every time I see you now, I laugh because I always think about that post you made about XX Tanasha Young when he when he passed away. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! So you know, and so for the people, I want you to just like say a few words about that experience because that was just interesting to me because I feel like there was a lot of like back and forth me, with people. I I. I Y'all love my Instagram. I have a very, I have a very powerful. I'm like, just Mace. I'm just Mace. I have a very powerful, like I guess from that moment, a very powerful entity. Um, the situation was he had passed away, and I had a good word. And R.I.P. We not you know, but R.I.P. Yeah, good, but. Uh, rest in peace. And it was just um, I had posted up a picture because I said to me, I said I'm not gonna draw. I'm not gonna do that. That's I don't do that I'm, unless I really feel like I want to do that. But for me, I just put a post and in my kind of not my lack of knowledge or it was like i wasn't ignorant but i was more so understanding i'm very transparent when it comes to things you know i understand death i understand you know people and how they feel but my post was really just saying you know i had said you know rest in peace i think he's a talented artist but whatever he does in his private life has nothing to do with me but only what i see what he says like i said rejections if he's a talented artist and he has his backstory that doesn't relate to me i relate to his music as an artist but i had said oh you know, he's not that bad of a guy. And what I meant was, we're all, no one's perfect. And I'm not going to change my words. I'm not going to regret what I did. But it, overall, out of all the posts on my social media, that one fueled a lot of different energy of people. Like, it was bad. Like, people were, I saw people, like, I, I lost followers. I lost people. I lost artist respect. And I was just like, I was just trying to post how I felt. And it was literally every, like, my phone was ding, 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 ding. And if I had left it on there, it would. I had to delete. Like it was funny. Once you got in, I was like, "Oh snap! It's time to delete." Because <laughs> I was, was like, that "It was went from like a couple." Because I, I posted it, and I was like, "No one's gonna trip off what I'm talking about." People were like, "He's this and this and that." I'm like, "That is nothing. That's go and it, go to your page and talk about that. Why did you wait for me to say something?" And I realized at that point, the power I had with my words and what I talk about. It was so funny because it's like, wow, these people are really projecting how they feel about this person when they have their own social media outlet. But because I said something and because I said it, now people are like, why would you say that? And it's like, I didn't say anything I thought was wrong because I, I don't care enough, but I cared enough to show appreciation without doing the typical drawing. I felt, you know, I felt for that. So it was a very interesting thing. And I realized if I didn't delete that, it would have been thousands of, it was bad. It was and you that, made me, I forgot all about that. Oh my gosh, that <laughs> I had to bring it up. Crazy. No, and it's dope too because I think like uh, I always talk about you know, this with my cousin. You know, artists and art in general is like a free, bold, confident. You know, put everything out there type of thing. It's like a hundred and ten percent. Like that's just what art is. Exactly. So it's like I think a lot of times in speaking or making a post about opinions on you know just current events and things of that nature, you have somebody like on one end of the spectrum. It's like a Kanye West who mm -hmm. I feel like. 
he doesn't think about what he says a lot of times. He just goes, and that's who he is. And exactly. like he, look up to sometimes him. he may regret things, sometimes he may not, but he's going to go out there and say. And then you have, like, you know, politicians or people who are, not even politicians, people who are more political exactly. and, like, strategic and, like, I'm not going to talk about this or I'm not going to. And I'm more that way where it's, like, although I'm an artist, like, I do consider, like, you know, you have to be careful or at least well think out, you know, what you're going to say on certain topics until you get all the facts. And, like, right. there's this thin line because we were I, artists. I think what it is. For me, I, I I stay away from completely political. I, only if it's really something either I find satirical or something that's like I can talk about. But you're absolutely there's that thin line, and I learned that since then. I don't even you don't catch me at all because ever since that moment, I was like, you know what? It's not about your reputation. It's about making sure you yourself are accountable of what people may see of you. Not to to validate yourself, but to say, hey, okay. I'm posting this, I'm feeling this, but I do have to understand that people look at me differently than I see myself. I could say something and it means absolutely nothing, but because of uh, you know being an artist or being so in tune 110%, that passion, so everything you say has a different level to it right. compared to someone down the street talking about something. Because you know, it's like, oh, okay, but if you have something to back up what you're, who you are, it's like, oh, I really have to listen and it's gonna have a different level. That's why you said with Kanye. He could say, I don't like, I don't like animals. Oh my gosh. And then it gets crazy. But if you say it, it's like, what do you mean? And it's just that it's it's an interesting thing about being an artist. It's just that's this constant being accountable and really being aware. And that that moment really did teach me that. That's why this to this day I don't even mm, you won't catch me on my Instagram ever. Mm -mm. Well, let me <laughs> like I'll put like if it's recipes, okay, recipes. Put on story, keep it moving. Like I will not right. go out my way <laughs> go, yeah. to put a post like ever. I get like I won't even do it. I won't even do it. Oh my gosh. All good. Lessons learned. Lessons, Lessons learned. learned. Uh